Hey guys, EJ here, back to do another uh, update. Uh, first week of the month, um, so it's gonna be Blu rays, uh, my DVD and Blu ray update for uh, June 6th. Oh, June 7th, sorry, uh, 2011. So I got six new Blu rays, all from uh, last year. Again, I'm only buying new movies on Blu ray. So these are all movies that came out last year. So the first one is uh, The Book of Eli uh, with the sweet slipcase. Uh, Hughes, Hughes Brothers film. Uh, good sci fi, apocalyptic sci fi adventure with uh, Denzel Washington. Uh, Gary Oldman and uh, Mila Kunis. Uh, I enjoyed it. You didn't have to be a genius to figure out what the actual book is. Uh, you could tell uh, just by watching the trailers what the book was going to be. But uh, what they did with it and uh, the twist at the end is what surprised me. Um, knowing that now, um, I won't give it away, but obviously most of you know what it is because you've seen it. Uh, watching this again will be interesting knowing uh, Knowing the detail about certain character uh, would be important, but good, good movie. I enjoyed it. Good effects. Um, Denzel always good. Uh, Gary Oldman always great as a villain. So up next we've got a uh, date night um, with uh, fun comedy with uh, Steve Carell and Tina Fey. I enjoyed this. Um, I especially like the beginning. There's sort of a nice chemistry between the two of these. This uh, sort of uh, bored couple who go on their date night and get into trouble with uh, spies and feds and whatnot, and gangsters. Um, Mark Wahlberg makes a pretty funny appearance. And I really like the uh, the scene with uh, Mila Kunis and uh, James Franco. That was funny as well. Uh, I, I like Tina Fey. She's good in pretty much anything. Uh, I've always enjoyed her. And Steve Carell is great as usual. Uh, fun movie, I enjoyed it. Okay, up next we've got uh, From Paris with Love. Um, pretty cool little action movie with uh, Jonathan Weiss, uh what's his name? Reese Myers, uh, I almost said Davies. <laughs> that would have been definitely wrong. And uh, John Travolta, who's a badass in this movie. Um, just a really slam bam action movie. Like I said, Travolta is just badass in this. I enjoyed his performance immensely. Um, cool movie. Uh, I think from the producers of like The Transporter and so on. Okay, up next we have uh, Hereafter, uh, directed by Clint Eastwood and uh, starring Matt Damon. Now, I know a lot of people who didn't like this movie. Uh, it's not. Eastwood's best by a long shot. He's made so many great films uh, over the past decade. This is not one of his better ones, but I still did enjoy it. Uh, Matt Damon plays a sort of reluctant psychic, and uh, the girl who's in uh, high tension, uh, Cecile de France, uh, plays a woman right here. And uh, Bryce Dallas Howard is in it, who I always like. And the tsunami scene is really good. It got nominated for uh, Best Visual Effects just for that scene, basically, at the Oscars. That's a good scene. There's some good stuff in this. It, like I said, it's not Eastwood's best, but uh, I definitely enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, he's made a, a lot better films. It's probably just as good as, say, uh, Changeling, the movie with Angelina Jolie, uh, Hereafter. So yeah, up next we have uh, I Spit on Your Grave, uh, the remake. Um, I like this more than the original. Um, the main reason is the revenge portion of the film. The second half of the film I like better than the original. I'll say the, the rape scenes are uh, a more a more intense and scarier in the in the original. I thought uh, they're still pretty graphic in this film, but the second part, the revenge scenes are really good. In the original, they're kind of boring, apart from the bass scene. Um, girl who played, uh, what's her name? I don't know the actress's name, but she was getting this. Uh, Sarah, Sarah Butler, I believe. Directed by Stephen Monroe. Um, yeah, the revenge part of this 
of this film. The second half was great, I thought. Especially the end, uh, what she does to the sheriff uh, particularly. I enjoyed that. Uh, good film, of course, remake of a classic. So. Last but definitely not least, came out today. And that is uh, True Grit. Uh, one of my favorite films of last year. Uh, the Coen Brothers remake of the 1969 uh, classic with uh, John Wayne. Uh, just a great film. I really enjoyed this. I thought it was better than the original. Um, Jeff Bridges is great as Rooster Cogburn and Haley Steinfeld. I thought she should have won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Uh, she completely steals this film. She is this film. She's just great in it. Uh, I thought she was wonderful. Uh, Matt Damon also good, and when I saw it, I was surprised how uh, how little you see of Josh Brolin. Uh, he's not in many scenes, but he's good as usual. Uh, just great uh, vistas, landscapes, great acting, great story. Uh, just a simple western. Uh, Coen Brothers did it right. This is one of my favorite films of uh, this past year. So that is uh, True Grit. So those are my six uh, Blu-rays, again, all from last year, uh, some good movies. Uh, if you've seen any of these, I'm sure many of you have, let me know what you think. So until next time, thank you for watching, and I'll see you.